entertainers in the building. Yeah. Alright, already the show goes on. Hello. Nah, what's good, bro? I'm just at the crib finna customize these shoes. What you on? Are you finna make some too? I bet. Oh yeah, I got you. Um, so you're gonna need some tape. You know, tape off the areas that you uh you're not trying to mess up on your shoes. Then you're gonna get you some acetone. Acetone, bro. From like a hardware store or something. It's so you could uh remove the factory paint off the shoe and paint over it so it stick better. Yeah, just use you like some cotton balls, some q tips, whatever. And then yeah, get you obviously you're gonna need some brushes or whatever, a little paint tray, some you know, so you don't mess up your mama's table or nothing like that. And then the paint I use is Angelus Direct. Yeah, they got a website, they on Amazon, local art store, whatever. I don't know where you stay at, but yeah. You can find it pretty easy, bro. Some just some acrylic leather paint. Mm-hmm. Yep, and that's it. Custom I'm doing right now, real simple though. So I'm just using, you know, one color. About two, three brushes, and then, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, send me the pics when you're done so I can see what it's talking about. All right? All right, bet. All right, so now that the shoe is all clean and the factory paint stripped down, fresh, smooth, just how I want it, I could go ahead and lay the black down and start painting this shoe. It'll probably take, like, like five to six coats of black just to make sure every all the blue is covered, everything is smooth and make it look the crispiest. Um, I got my paint out, my brush ready to go. And yeah, we're just going to start painting. I just posted on my Instagram. I don't know when this video is going to be edited and posted, but I just posted on my Instagram questions for people to ask me that I can answer while I'm painting. Right now, I got about 10 questions. So while I'm painting, just so it's not silenced, or it's not just time lapse the whole time. You know, I'm gonna answer a couple of these questions while I'm painting and then you yeah, see how it turned out. First question somebody asked me was Favorite shoe and why? Uh that's tough. My favorite shoe is Air Jordan 1. Because like it's just look at it. Like, this shoe is perfect. Like, I don't really... You either like it or you don't, and I love it. It's just perfect. I got 25 pair of Jordan 1s in my collection, I think. Cap. Like, 21. But the Jordan 1 is just perfect. Like, it's just the silhouette, everything about it, it's just perfect. That's all I can say. It's perfect. That's it. Um, Why? It's perfect. Like I said, I just answered that. I don't even know why I'm still talking. Next question. Favorite hoop shoe and why? That question, I mean, I get I get asked that question a lot because like I like y'all should know I play basketball, but I answered it in my in my unboxing from all the shoes I picked up while I was gone. I just haven't posted that video yet, but my favorite hoop shoe is the KD4 and the Kobe 8. Just cause like I like low tops, I like light shoes. They like really stick to my foot like a sock. And yeah, they just them the best models of the of those two signature lines, those is the best two models, the Kobe 8 and the KD4. And ever since I got my first pair of KD4s, like freshman year of high school, they was just I just had to have them all. What is your favorite one? Favorite one, like, my favorite Jordan one, or my favorite one, I'm gonna just, that's my homie, I'm gonna just go with favorite Jordan one. My favorite Jordan one is the breads, the black and red colorway, I still don't have them, I don't know why. All these other shoes I bought and I still don't have my favorite shoe ever in my collection, which is sad and I'm embarrassed, but my favorite one, Jordan one, is the bread ones. First pair of shoes, uh, when I was a young boy, I think I had the Nike Arab Tempos with the big old air on the side. If I had a picture, I'd show y'all, but 
Nike Arab Tempos with the big air on the side. I had them when I was younger. I had probably the first pair and all the pairs of the Nike Hirachis. I had the Playoff Jordan 8s. Um, I had the Nike Zoom Shocks for the first day of school. I had the LeBron Zoom Generations. So like they was keeping me late. They was keeping me laced when I was younger, but I had I had some stuff. I, don't, I can't remember what the first first shoe was, but I had I had me a little collection when I was younger too. It's like I don't really want to give y'all like a paint tutorial, like do this, do that. Even though I kind of already gave y'all the steps of what y'all need to do, but it's just like basketball and paint, like them the two things I really love to do. And I don't be telling y'all how to play basketball, y'all just watch. So I just want y'all to see me in another one of my zones and one of my elements doing what I love, which is painting. What was the first shoe that got you into the game? Uh, middle school, my god brother, my cousin, gave me, he gave me his whole collection of shoes. He had uh, the green bean fives, the grape fives, the aqua eights. He gave me some black infrared sixes. He gave me the, uh, he gave me the, uh, oh, like they some all peach with the baby blue sevens on the shark teeth. He gave me some fire red fives, some cherry 14s. And I think just him giving me that collection and like how he took pride in the shoes and like how he kept them clean and in the box with the paper on it and just kept everything so fresh. That's what made me fall in love. It was like, they just some shoes. Like I was running down my shoes back then too. And then he gave me his little collection and I was just like, yeah, I got to I got to treat them just like Big Bro did and take care of them. And then after that, I grew out of them. And like now, I got all the shoes that I grew out of and I keep them all and I keep them all fresh. But back then, it's like I grew out of them and I gave them to somebody else. But if I would have kept them, then would have been some gems to have in my collection. But I think him giving me his collection is what made me want to get into shoes and really do the research and, and start my own collection for sure. Why do you paint? I paint, I, I first started painting shoes cause I, I just like shoes on Instagram. I, I follow a bunch of bunch of people that customize shoes and people I look up to in this customized game world, whatever you want to call it. And I asked them one time to do a custom for me. And he said it was going to cost me 250 and I had to give him the base shoe. And at the time I didn't have that money. So I, learned how to paint myself i got some old vans some beat up shoes and i just got right to it started learning how to paint did the research on how to you know take the paint off and what type of paints to use and stuff like that and then once i did i, I made the shoe that i asked him to do and i made it for free for myself obviously and after that it was just like okay i i like what i did this is fun this is something i want to do and then painting like and then painting this I'm over here stuttering. Painting is just like like basketball. You know, I play basketball. It clears my head. It it takes me to a, a place where I'm just, I feel like by myself. I'm at peace. I'm having fun. I'm happy. And when I'm painting, it's like, this, it's like the same vibes. Like, I'm doing something that I want to do, that I love, that I have pride, that I take pride in, and that can't nobody really tell me how to do it. Can't, there's no boss. I'm... I'm just in my own zone, in my own element, doing doing what I love. So that's what that is. I'm just having fun with it. I don't want to limit myself to just being a basketball player or being an athlete. I want to I want to have my hands in as much as I can and do as much as I can. What is the most annoying thing about doing work for people? <laughs> um doing work for people I just say like I'm I'm offering and lending my time and it's like just don't waste it or just be patient like like when I say when I when I post my customs or some people think I'm either gonna do it for free or it's like $20 like I gotta buy the paint I gotta buy 
the stuff to remove the pain. I gotta buy tape, buy the brush. I gotta clear my schedule, clear my day to do something for you. And you want it for free or you want it for that cheap? Like, no, that's not how it works. And then when they, when we do get to the process where we got to the right price, they finally, we finally linked up to get the shoes. Then it's like, you gotta be patient. This, this is an easy custom. I guarantee you it takes me like three to four days. And then they give me the shoe and hit me the same day. When the shoe's gonna be done, how, how much longer? I'm trying to, I'm going here, I'm going there. I'm like, just wait. Like, you gotta be patient. This ain't finna just happen overnight. And then they wanna get mad, they wanna throw a fit, they wanna do this and that. It's like, bro, you could just take the shoes back. I don't, go find somebody else, learn how to do it yourself like I did. I ain't knocking nobody's hustle. Like, that's all. Just be patient, that's it. Don't waste my time and then be patient. So that's it. I think this is my last question for this part. <laughs> do you think you're a league? I mean, I'm in a league of my own, if that's what you mean, but do I think I'm league? In painting, I might be league. I'm, I'm like in the G League for painting, right? Like, I'm there. I could get a check, but I'm not big boys. Basketball-wise, man, hell no, I'm not league. If I was league, I'd be league, but I'm not. I'm overseas league, doing my business out there in a different country, but that's the dream, you know? NBA, bright light, big stage, that's the dream, so, you know. Hopefully I can make it there one day, a couple years, give me some time, but I feel like my work ethic is league, I'll tell you that. I feel like if I was around the right people every day, my, my diet could be league. I push myself enough to be league, but my game isn't league right now. Like I could go play on the team and make a couple plays, but... I want to go league and be relevant. I don't want to go league and fall off or go league and and not be somebody. I want to go. If I go league, I'm I'm trying to go league. Like I made it type. So I just got to keep working. That's the dream, though. All right. So midway through customizing these these uh, game royals into the fragments. One of my homies hit me up, and um, I don't know if invited is the right term, but I attended one of my homies that works at Index PDX. His name is Cam, and he holds a, a custom workshop and every year, too. And this year, I went for the first time um, over at the Walk-Up Experience Center downtown in the Pearl. And since this was the project I was working on at the time, I just took this with me and I finished it there. That's why. You see the shoes are done now. I ended up finishing the custom there. And, you know, I took some of my other work, showed it off to uh, the people that came in. There was a lot of other customizers there. You know, I met some real cool people. I learned a lot about customizing and stuff. And it was just, just an all around fun experience. And I finished these there. So I'll show y'all what it was looking like.